students myself i shitank i welcome you on envira online school today we will start our next part for chapter 2 in our previous part we are doing exercise 2 in this part we are continuing the same exercise so let's start with question number 4 we solve three question in our previous class now let's start with question number 4 first read the question find the addition we have to add the largest number of four digit largest number of four digit and largest number of three digit so first we have to know the largest four digit number is so the largest four digit number largest four digit number which is the largest four digit number yes 9999 this is the largest four digit number now next we want the largest number of three digit So next is largest three digit number, which is the largest three digit number, nine hundred ninety nine. So nine on hundred place, nine on tens and nine ones. Now what we have to do? We have to add. So let's add. So nine plus nine. Nine plus nine is eighteen. So one eight eighteen. Next one plus nine ten. Ten plus nine is nineteen. So one nine nineteen. One plus nine ten. Ten plus nine is nineteen. So one nine. Next. One plus nine is ten. So this is ten thousand nine hundred ninety-eight. The addition of largest four digit and largest three digit number. Let's go to the next question. Question number five. First, read the question. Ramesh deposited rupees two thousand eight hundred. Fifty in January and rupees three thousand six hundred fifty in February in his bank account. Find the total amount he deposit in both months. So what we have to find the total amount. If someone asks about the total, so what we have to do? We have to add. We have to add. So let's start. So first, she deposit. Sorry, he deposit January. January, how much? Two thousand eight hundred fifty. And in February, in February, he deposit. Three thousand six hundred fifty. So now we have to find the total. So, so for total, what we have to do? We have to add that. So let's add. So zero plus zero is zero. Five plus five. Five plus five is ten. So one zero. Next, eight plus one. Nine, nine plus six is fifteen. So one five fifteen. Next one plus two three. Three plus three is six. So this is the total amount. Total amount he deposit in his bank account. In both months. 
Let's go to the next question. Question number 6. Let's go to the next question. Question number 6. Anshu bought a cycle for rupees 2,999. And Ruchi bought a cycle for rupees 2,650. Find the difference of amount of both cycle. The, what we have to find? The Difference. If somebody asks to find the difference, what we have to do? We have to subtract the numbers. So here we have two numbers. So let's subtract them. So first, Anshu, the amount of Anshu cycle, amount of Anshu cycle is 2,999 and amount of Ruchi cycle. Ruchi cycle, amount of Ruchi cycle is? Amount of Ruchi cycle is 2,650. Now, here, what we have to find? We have to find the difference. So, what? We are doing subtraction. Subtract the numbers. So let's subtract. So 9 minus 0 is 9. Minus 0 is 9. Next, 9 minus 5 is 9. Minus 5 is 4. Next, 9 minus 6 is 9. Minus 6 is 3. And 2 minus 2 is 0. So, the difference. What is this? This is the difference in amount of both cycles. 349. Difference between the both cycles amount. Let's go to the next question. Question number 7. So, here sum of two numbers is 7,678. What is this? This is the sum. So how can we find the sum? If we add two addends, we find the sum. So, here we write first addend and then the second addend and then we find the sum. So here we have the sum. Sum of two numbers is 7,678. This is the sum. Next. And if one of them, if one of them is 4,630. So here one added is given which is 4,630. 4,000. 630 and find the other. Here we have to find the other addend. So we have to find the second addend. So if sum and one addend is given, so what we have to do to find the second addend? Yes, we are doing subtraction. So let's subtract. So here 8 Sum minus added. So 8 minus 3 is. Start from here. So 8 minus 3 is. 8 minus 3 is. 5. So this is 5 here. Then the sum is 7. And added is 1. So 7 minus 1 is. 6. So this is 6 here. Next sum is. 6 and added is 6. 6 minus 6 is 0. So here is 0. Next, sum is 7 and added is 4. So 7 minus 4 is 7 minus 4 is 3. So here is 3. So our second added is 3065. Let's check. So this is the sum. We are doing addition to find the sum. So 3 plus 5 is 8. 1 plus 6 is 7. 6 plus 0 is 
subtraction to find the other item. Let's go to the next question. Question number 8. Mohan has an amount of 10,000 rupees. Mohan has an amount of 10,000 rupees. He bought wheat for rupees 4,500 rupees. And rice for rupees 1,600. How much money does he have now? So, if you you are going to market and bring up, bring money and we are spend some money in market and then we count how much money we have. So, first we have to count that how much money we spend. So, so, so first Mohan bought the wheat, wheat for rupees 4,500 and rice for rupees 1,600. So, how much money he spent in market? So, zero. Let's add that. So, zero, zero. Five plus six is? 11, so 1 and 1 carry and 1 plus 4, 5, 5 plus 1 is 6. So, he spent 6,100 in market. Now, so amount which Mohan has, Mohan has 10,000 rupees. And then he spent 6,100 6, in market. Now, so how much money does he have now? So what we have to do? We have to subtract. So let's subtract them. So 0 minus 0 is 0. 0 minus 0 is 0. 0 minus 1. Not possible. So, 0 will borrow in from here. So, so 0. So, here is 1. 1 becomes 0 and 0 becomes 10. Now, 10 becomes 9 and 0 becomes 10. So, 10 minus 1 is 9. 9 minus 6 is 3. And here is 0. So, this is 3900. So, money does Mohan have now. So, how much money Mohan have? Mohan have 3,900 rupees. Mohan have rupees 3,900 because he has 10,000 and then he spent 6,100. Now he have 3,900 rupees. Now let's go to our next question. Question number 9. A total of 8,976 children were given drops. So here this is the total children which have given Drops of pulse polio. So here, a total of 8,976 children were given drops of pulse polio under Bhagwan Panchayat in three phases. In three phases, 2,780 children were given in first phase. In first phase, there are 2,780 children and 2,925 children in second phase state. How many children were given the drops in third phase? So let's solve this question. So in first phase, how many children in first phase? There are 200, 
1925 children. So let's add them that how many children are given draws in these two faces. Let's find out. So 0 plus 5 is 5. 8 plus 2 is 10. 1 plus 7 8. 8 plus 9 17. 1 plus 2 3. 3 plus 2 is 5. So total 5705 children take drops in two phases. Now we have to find the third phase children. Among number of third phase children. So first, so total, how many children in total? Total children are 8976 children in total. And 5705 children were take drops in first two phases. First and second phase. Now we have to find the third phase. So what we have to do? We have to subtract. So 6 minus 5 is 1. 7 minus 0 7. 9 minus 7 2. 8 minus 5 3. So 3271 children. So here the answer that 3271 children take drop in third phase. So here is the answer. So here question number 9 is completed. With this our part is completed here. So we are doing the exercise in this part. We are also continuing the same exercise in our next part. Thank you.